Yo, what's going on guys? I hope you guys are all doing well. My name is Hero Brandon and welcome to my channel. I appreciate you guys clicking on the video. I hope you guys enjoy what you see. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Yo, what's going on guys? Hope you guys are all doing well. Uh, thank you for clicking on the video uh, where we last left off. We had to um, go back to the school to learn some more potions, um, but I noticed that I have a mission to uh, use our broomstick, so we're gonna check that out. I uh, hope you guys enjoy. I'm super excited. Um, always wonder how it's gonna be to fly around, so uh, let's do this. Do think we'll fall from that Everybody grab a broom, and we shall get started. Heck yeah. Mr. Clotten, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Okay. Hello. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely, as broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will <laughs> not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Yay! Not yeah. a fan, I take it? <laughs> now, let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom. Say up, firmly and clearly. Then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. This is gonna be cool. Up! Thank you. I am really excited now, to be able to fly your around. Your turn. Up, 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 up! You stupid ratty school broom. Up. Come on. Up. up. Heck yeah, like a boss, baby. One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A <laughs> gust of wind will throw you right off. Uh -huh. This is cool. And if you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be fun. I'm so excited. Good. Now, for your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do oh, take care. Take some getting used the to. rooms are school property. Ah. I want them returned in I think one I'm piece. I'm getting the hang of this. This is cool. Woo! Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? Let's do it. What do we gotta do? This next set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. What a view! This is awesome. <laughs> Hello. Nice day for a flight. Yes, it is. Made it. Oh, Look at this did view. Else see that? Woo! This oh, is awesome. The old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as the first year. This feels so cool. <laughs> Whoa. Aquatic resident likes Whoa. to make an appearance once in a while. He's oh. Waving. <laughs> that was cool. <laughs> that wasn't too bad. Yeah, baby. That was cool. I say, I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. Oh my gosh, but I'm getting good. ahead of myself. We haven't properly met. I'm Everett Clopton. Am I right in suspecting that a Gryffindor like you might be interested in a high-flying adventure? You would be right. Can't say no to that. What did you have in mind? A bit of a detour, so to speak. Follow me. 
The tour is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. Let's hope the Headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. <laughs> this is awesome. Look at that. Nice Woo. to get above it all, isn't it? Yes, it is. Woo. Ahead of the gardens, the Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. This is cool. How is Everett flying so quickly? Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. Okay, so lean forward. Uh -huh. Now that's more Woo. like it. You sure you're not part hippogriff? <laughs> Look at that. I know you guys There's remember the that. Bridge. Yeah, from Think Harry of Potter. All the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. And the owlery. That's a bit That's of solid so... architecture, isn't it? That's oh, where they do uh, Quidditch. Chips and jaunt around Hogwarts. That's awesome. This is quite the tour, Everett. Woo. Hopefully, we can start using this more. That's Kagawa's whistle. This concludes our tour. Best hurry back. That was cool. Already dismissed Better hurry and hand in our brooms. And where have you two been? Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for uh -oh. not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, <laughs> I'm on disappointed face. in you. You're in this class because you're still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But Professor, enough. Class is finished for the day. Uh oh, I got myself in trouble. As for you, you do well to use better judgment in the future. Chin up. That was some rather good flying. <laughs> I hope we can buy brooms now. Sorry about that business with Kagawa, but you have to admit those views were worth it. Uh, I have no regrets. I wish we wouldn't. Yeah. It was worth losing a few house points for that detour. Yeah. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spintwich is in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. I'm definitely going to go do that right now. Nice. Got a new broom. Yeah, we, we should go do that right now. Let's see, hog meat. And where is it at? Uh, sprint good shop to sell. Ah, oh, right here. This is where it's at. All right, let's get ourselves a broom, guys. <laughs> Be able to travel around the map a lot faster. I'm kind of interested in when we're going to be able to Doesn't get any more cozy. Jitter. How did you fare? Pretty if you're good. keen for some illicit spell practice, meet me outside the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. I know a discreet place near there. Heck yeah. I'm definitely going to do that. Ah, oh, new face. Wonderful. Look at these brooms. Hello, Mr. It's Weeks. It's like the Ferrari of brooms. Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. I had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned, thankfully with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? That's Got correct. a few rare yew weavers available, ember dash, silver arrows, wind wisps too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. They better be. Sounds quite look. the array of brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank you. Let's see what you got. What are we looking for today? 
What's the most expensive? I'm trying to look like a boss, okay? Perfect broom, it does a flyer, uh, temperament. A uh, broom, enhance, celebrate your particular Hogwarts house, pride, uh, flycraft, ash. This broom is built for st stability. Broom, a light touch, quite literally. Comfort, speed broom with a unwind wave. Huh. That item is of the highest quality. Let's see. Ooh, look at that. That looks freaking sick. Okay. So one, we're gonna sell some stuff. Nice doing business with you. If you guys are wondering how I got so much money, this is all I did was just sell. Of course I did it off camera because I'm sure you guys don't want to see me just sit here and sell stuff. As you're doing now. <laughs> uh, that item is of the highest quality. I You'll be that. thrilled with that broom, I promise you. Thanks for stopping by. Whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements? Go on. Ha! Knew I was right about you! I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. Hmm. What I need is someone to conduct a broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Reyes, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? Uh, sounds worth a try. That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you! It'll be worth your while. If I'm right, the new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special price. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Reyes will sort you out. Okay. We'll Once do. you've beaten Imelda's time, Revelio. be sure to let me know. This shop sells minor wizarding sports goods, including aspirin models. Huh. Okay. I have an idea for somewhere you can focus on your studies, away from prying eyes and distractions. Ah, I can't help but admire Mr. Weeks' enthusiasm. Alright. I want to go somewhere where we can fly. Sometimes it seems all roads lead. Woo! No! Alright, press RB and B. Nice. Okay. Heck yeah. So what we're gonna do? To per we can perfect. Uh, room of requirement level, and then yeah, we're gonna do that. This broom is freaking sick. Look at this view, guys. Woo! This is cool. <laughs> Alright, can we fly into the school? Like into the courtyard? Let's see. And it looks like it can. You cannot. Ah, okay, okay. What about right here? Nice. That's pretty cool. I like that they allowed you to do that.
Over here. Let's learn some dark arts. Sebastian, arc. it's been a while. It has. Glad you received my owl. I have something to show you. First, let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. Scribner tried to give me detention, but I have ways out of these things. Well, you took the fall for me, and that counts for something. Did you find what you were looking for? I did, but something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment, in the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. Hmm. This way. Let's do this. There's a secret area over here? There's a secret passage just here. It's well disguised. What the heck? Is it the skull painting? No, it's this clock. Or whatever that is. This looks cool. I highly doubt that they don't know where this is at. I mean, come on now. How did you find this place? My friend, Ominous Gaunt. Rebellion! We used to play gobstones here all the time. Not with much. my sister, Anne. She loved that infernal game. What I wouldn't give to lose to her again. I should tell you, I swore to Ominous I would safeguard this place. So please, keep this between us. He never confides in anyone. But he's trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. We used to sneak in here almost daily. We've never been caught. Okay. I think I've seen ominous in potions. Or was it herbology? I've noticed that he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. No idea how, though. Ominous was born blind, and no spell could reverse it. His wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Ollivander always says, the wand chooses the wizard. Is that how he found this place? No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. I've never heard anyone else speak of it, and I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again, mention this to no one, especially Ominous. He has no love lost for his family or their secrets, but this place is special to him. Understood. But why does Ominous have no love lost for his family? His father's family are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, Ooh. one of the four founders of Hogwarts. Yeah. Obsessed with blood status, most of them. Ominous cannot abide them, as he'll be the first to tell you. Anyway, the Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to, away from prying eyes, and even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Really? Like what? Like the Blasting Curse. Professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. Uh, that's ridiculous. It does sound dangerous. A proper magical education ought to include all magic. My thoughts exactly. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Let's do it. Such this. spells should be properly taught, not banned. To be fair, I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic. But you should learn it. I can teach it to you safely here. Heck yeah. It may take a while to get the feel for it. Mimic my wand movement. The incantation is Confringo. Very well. Confringo. Okay. Let's go here. 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 Nice. Confringo. You're getting it. Ready to actually try. Hold on, dude. Uh, let's do it. Okay. Couldn't bring sticks to the targets, though. Best what? to keep the Undercroft intact. What targets? Have a go at those candelabras. Both have their use. Nice work. How's it feel? Pretty it's good. It's a tad hot. That's it. I think I've got it. This is cool. Well done. Nice, man. I have to say. I enjoyed that. The first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo, we singed our eyebrows. <laughs> I would have paid to see that. I oh. swore we'd never live it down. So this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive. It's almost too much. I'm ready for more spells like this. This is exactly the type of magic I've been hoping to learn. 
There's more where that came from. Been practicing similar spells here for ages. Although, I didn't tell Anne and Ominous about every one. Haven't been here in some time. It's not the same without Anne. I'm sorry about your sister. If there's anything I can do... Perhaps when I next head to Feldcroft, you could come along. True. Meet Anne. She could use some cheering up. Uh, I'd be glad to. Just let me know when and I'll meet you. Oh, she misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian, Uncle Solomon. Unfortunately, you'll have to meet him too. <laughs> well, meeting a new student will be precisely what she needs. I shall look forward to it. Cheers. By the way, what was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? I'm not sure where to start. You said something was missing from what you found in the library. Might it have something to do with Victor Rookwood? He didn't mistake you for someone else at all in Hogsmeade, did he? Nothing gets past you. I'll tell you what I can. Rookwood and Ranrock are trying to recover something they think I took from a vault in Gringotts. Gringotts? When were you there? Professor Fig and I wound up there after the dragon attack. There was this port key that... A port key? To Gringotts? Well, it's all a bit convoluted. I'm listening. Uh, telling the truth, I'm not ready to tell you everything. You tell must promise truth. to keep this between us. He's I trusted given you us with knowledge secret. of the secrets undercroft. Exactly. You can trust me. All right. I can see traces of ancient magic. Ancient magic? I don't know what I was expecting you to say, but it wasn't that. What does that even mean? Honestly, I'm not entirely certain. All I know is that I can see whispers of an old magic that hardly anyone else can. Fig and I think that Ranrock has somehow found a way to harness that magic's power. Are you telling me that goblins may be wielding some sort of wizard magic? That's what we're trying to find out. And this ability of yours, does this allow you to wield this magic too? I... Uh, I don't know. Well, when you do know, tell me. I've been studying archaic forms of magic for ages. Perhaps we can help each other. In the meantime, yeah, with both Rookwood and Ranrock after you, I suspect a bit more time practicing the blasting curses in order. Spend as much time here as you'd like. And remember, keep this place between us. When I head to Feldcroft, I'll send you an owl. Alright. Yeah, I figured he, he showed us some stuff, so why not tell him? It's not the end of the world. Hello, Sebastian. Wait. You there! I can hear you! Oh, hello. Ominous, isn't it? I believe we have potions together. And herbology? I recognize that voice. Heard you talking to Gareth Weasley in potions class. You're the new fifth year. Did you just come from the Undercroft? How did you get in there? I stumbled upon it. That room's called the Undercroft. Ah, well, I was exploring and then suddenly found myself in a strange passageway. Don't lie to me. No one stumbles upon that room. Sebastian told you, didn't he? You breathe a word about this place to anyone. And not even your precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. My father Jeez. is friends with the headmaster. Oh my God. I'm not afraid to exploit that connection if I need to. He sounds like Malfoy. Uh, no need for threats. I promise not to say anything. You needn't threaten me. I'm not going to say anything about your Undercroft. And Sebastian is a good friend. You shouldn't immediately assume the worst of him. I don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you very much. Ominous, I just meant- I know what you meant. Sebastian gets himself in enough trouble. He doesn't need your help. I would love to punch this dude Sebastian in the face. Sebastian is going to get an earful about this. Oh my gosh. This freaking guy. Nice. Okay. Where is... You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was. Uh-huh. Lady. Alright, let's go here. Blue powder. Ah, it's up more. Mm 
Woo. I know everything has a bit of a lag. It's because I'm running. I think that's my only gripe with this game is, you know, with it lagging. But I think that's more so on my end than anything. Something so peaceful about this. The graphics card I'm using is pretty good, but I think with everything being on high high settings, you know, any PC, I guess, would lag a bit. Uh, there's that freaking dude. Alright, let's go here. Professor Weasley? Hmm. Somewhere away from prying eyes. So cool. Forgive me, the headmaster stopped me and I. Merlin's beard. I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Shall we? I didn't do anything. After you, Professor. I just walked over there. <laughs> this is so cool. Hey, this, this is, a... is the room of requirement. Yeah, I was gonna it say. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident. If ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now, where is Deke? He must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor. The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Oh, Thought yeah. he might help you use the room once you've found it. <sighs> There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. You oh. can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such That's as cool. these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. Nice, okay, so go here. Yeah. Ah! I messed up. <laughs> Alright, so... Blended. Now, cast Evanesco on those chairs. Let's see. Evanesco, where's it at? Right here. Let's put it on... That. Excellent work. That's sick. You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. Yes. We shall discuss its uses later. Let's move on. I love how, like, we're just... We keep getting hey, more and more Merlin's magic. Name is that elf. What's this? I uh, waited for you here for ages. Perhaps you were uh, assigned a is few more inches of goodness than you expected. My old no. school bag. I wondered where that had got to. School bag? I can't believe it's still here. I'll just take a quick look at this. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. Yes, Professor. Oh, I can look around? Heck yeah! Oh, dear what me. The How'd you keep it hell? down? Some of us are trying to rest. What are you talking about? I didn't do anything. This place is cool. There's a chest here. I uh, probably need to pull it. There we go. Ah, that's what it's used for. Nice. Whee. This is cool. I hope this isn't as precarious as it looks. An intruder! Stop them! I'm not an intruder. 
No, not uh, that's not helpful, you worthless pile of tin. It just fell apart. <laughs> What the heck? A bit offended. The room thought I needed a bath. Wow. A bit offended. Whoa, look at these. Serious, cool. How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? <laughs> What was that? Is that a snitch? Is that a golden snitch? Yeah. That's cool. Perhaps you should summon your wits and find out. <laughs> Who the hell Accio. said that? That was a golden snitch. That's freaking awesome. Whoa, look at that. Cool. Is there anything here? Nope, nope, nope. Can I pull it? Nope, can't pull it through there. Akio! I literally just cheated. <laughs> oh, I, I think I see what I have to do. Bring it back. Bring it back, Joe. Bring it back. And that's not what I have to do. Huh. Maybe I have to go that way, maybe? Akio! I'm not too sure. We hope that house elf can find us in here. I'll have to go back to see if I can get that. Yikes! Careful! Huh? Oh, there you are! Wait right there. Deed will come to you. Hello. Ah, oh, Deke. We've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed it is. Deke is honored to meet you. He looks Deke cool. has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The Room of Requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deep seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the room of hidden things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Is this where we get that, uh... Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely th as you need it. I think this is where we get that the room where we can catch animals. Rest. That's 
freaking sick. <laughs> You've given yourself quite a canvas to work with. That's awesome. I look forward to seeing what you do with the space. Ah, and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. Oh, is that it my can bird? identify unfamiliar items of clothing. One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. Okay, I think I have some of that. Identify. Yeah, I had a, a bunch of that. That's so cool. You'll find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. This area is so freaking sick. <laughs> I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes, the magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. Okay. Uh, go. Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. Yeah. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Nice. Mm, quite perceptive. Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plants and brew potions in class. This is cool. Okay, so... Let's do... Nice. Potion table. Whoa, we can... Let's see... Can you view it? That looks so sick. Oh, this is cool. Uh, yeah, we're gonna do it there. And you can change the color. I'm gonna change it to red. That's freaking sick. Okay. Uh, what about here? Uh, we're gonna place well that there. You can use these whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds. Nice. Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. Thank you, Professor. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. Nice. Alright guys, I appreciate you guys watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys can do me a favor and like and subscribe, it would really help my channel out. Without you guys, I can't do what I do. Thank you, and I'll check you guys in the next video. Peace out.